What's up, y'all? This is your boy, CD. First of all, I want to give a shout out to everyone who's seen my video. Um, praise do you. Um, if you've never seen my videos, um, my name is Gerald Davis. I made a decision at the beginning of 2012 to chronicle my life and as I more or less embraced my spiritual walk. Uh, if you would like to ask any questions or want to reach me and don't want to put it on this page that's fine I can be reached at CD mixers at yahoo.com that is CD M I X E R S at yahoo.com uh, I read all my uh, emails and I get back to you but first of all thank you thank you very much I'm very humbled um, a lot of people may be asking well why did you decide to make these videos like you have well uh, in a nutshell uh, I got to a point uh, that I started to more or less look at my life and I want it better. I realized that being that I am a good guy, I try to live a good life, I was always falling short. And I realized it was because I was not putting my Lord Jesus Christ in front of me. Um, so after some events that took place, that really really humbled me and I had to get real so if you notice that as I started this video I turned around I put far sides running uh, I chose that as a, as a uh, an intro for this video because a lot of us we tend to have that mindset where we don't want to look at our lives and take responsibility for what we do it's more it's more easier to more or less put blame on things not do the work and more or less allow life to live you instead of you live your life now my video today is basically talking about coming to that crossroads as defined a crossroads is a point where you must make a decision for me, I apply that as my spiritual crossroads. Yeah, you could turn around and <clears throat> say, well, you know, I'm living a good life, uh, but I've got bad luck. Uh, everything tends to always happen to me, and I don't understand why. Well, I'll tell you why. You see, until you decide to put your higher power, my power, my higher power is is Lord Jesus Christ in front of all your works I hate to tell you you're gonna fall short you're gonna more or less your life is going to more or less become in a holding pattern so to speak envision this picture being on an airplane and the pilots on the air saying we're getting ready to come into the airport of where you can where you're going and then all of a sudden you notice the airplane is just spinning it's just going in a circle and it's not landing now apply that same mental picture as your life you're, you're trying to do things that need to be done there's always these unforeseen obstacles maybe people places events that come around in your life and they don't tend to 
come out the, with the outcome that you desire? Well, let me tell you something. This is happening for a reason. While you're in that holding pattern, you're supposed to be reflecting and looking at how you got there. What was the, what was the factors that got you to where you are? This forces you to get real with yourself. Yes, there are some times that, you know, it can be very scary. You know, you, you make decisions that you think are logical. And normally it's because we base it on our emotion. Um, you know, maybe it'd be an argument or a disagreement or something done in haste. But then you realize that you're wasting not only more time having to repair the time invested, but usually you're not getting the outcome that you desire. The reason for that is this. You see, if for you that may not know, uh, there's, there is a parable also, in the, and there's also a scripture. Um, I'm, I'm learning my Bible um, each day, so as I continue to place these videos out here, you know, I'll be able to tell you exactly where they are and um, <clears throat> be able to elaborate. So, you know, be patient with me. Uh, but the parable is God will always give you what, what you need, never what you want. So if you're looking at life through, uh, through basing it on your heart, basing it on your, your sensories, guess what? If it's not blessed, you can never prosper from it. It won't last. Now, the devil, he'll turn around, you know, think of it like a football game. He's the opposition. You turn around and you say, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to pray. And usually it's, you never, you never do it right, but you're just going to pray. You're going to go through the motions. Well, the devil turns around and intercepts that prayer. And guess what? He gives you everything your heart desires. But guess what? It's a distraction. You see, if it's not anointed, if it's not blessed, all it's going to do is bring you more pain, more time loss. So, for example, say, and not trying to sound biased, but I'm just going to use this for example. You always hear a lot of women say, well, you know, I, I just want a good man. I, or, or I just want a man to come in my life and treat me the way I deserve. Well, guess what? Notice there was no, there was no, uh, representation or honor to your higher power so guess what the day the, the devil comes in whoop got it turns around then a man enters your life and 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 trust and believe he's gonna be everything your heart desires he's gonna be that lawyer he's gonna be that lover he's gonna when he when he talks to you it's gonna fall his words ooze like honey but guess what he's gonna cause a lot of pain it's because of the fact that you didn't give honor to your higher power so you're at that crossroads you have to decide okay the path I'm going on is it really worth it because really you are straddling the fence and let me throw this out here too a lot of times, this is misconception out there that they think, uh, you hear people say, well, you know, opposites attract. No. Mm -mm. See, how it works is your attraction is to, uh, how, how can I say this? Normally, you're attracted to the people that come in your life, the situations. They embody the same characteristics that you have. So... If you're not living right, then the person that you're with may not living right either. Because if you're living right and they're not, two people that are not of harmony cannot walk together. And the heart can be deceived. Now, don't get me wrong. 
let's just say you have an epiphany. You start seeing these signs. Usually those signs are from your higher power through angels, maybe directly from him, trying to get you to correct your path. Well, unless you do that and come humbly, truly humbly, you're not going to get what you deserve. Favor, blessings, prosperity. I had to figure that one out myself. I mean, you could live as best as you would like, but if you do not come correct to your higher power, you're going to continue to get what you are getting. And don't you value yourself? I think you do. I think you do. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put out some other videos, so I'm not going to elaborate. I'm not going to. I'm not going to go here. Go on those. Um, but once again, I, I felt that someone needed to hear that. Um, God is using me to put this out. So thank you for taking the time to look at this clip. And God bless. And until next time. Stay prayed up. Peace.